German car makers have come to the International Motor Show in Frankfurt with concepts for electric drive and autonomous driving, and they're taking the offensive. But there's also plenty of time and space devoted to the familiar makes and models. Porsche has unveiled the 911 GT3 Touring Package, a special version of one of the world's most famous sports cars. Porsche's Oliver Blume describes it as a special model based on one from 1973. Porsche asked its customers what they wanted to see, and this was it. The GT3 Touring comes only with a six-speed stick shift, but its 368 kilowatts slam it from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in just 3.9 seconds. Another classic in new clothes is the Ford Mustang, here debuting its newly designed front. And the Ford Fiesta is demonstrating its diversity with new variants. Matas Kurat knows that anyone who follows developments in the automotive industry will be familiar with concepts beyond the cars themselves, such as individual mobility solutions for today, tomorrow, and the day after. Important links in the chain are the suppliers. They've been concentrating on enhancing safety and comfort while cutting back on emissions. Among Scheffler's priorities are top performance, high voltage hybrid modules, and electric axles for battery powered vehicles without internal combustion engines. ZF is presenting its innovative ideas and solutions under the slogan, See, Think, Act. CF Stefan Sommer envisions accident and emissions-free driving in the long term, so they're refining their technology in the field of sensors, artificial intelligence and mechanics. The drive concepts aren't the only aspects undergoing fundamental changes. The interiors of the future will also be radically different. Adian develops seat and space concepts. Adian's Andreas Maashof believes the car will eventually be a third living space, and these spaces will increasingly merge to form an office or a living room on wheels. The car's functionality itself will evolve. Audi provides an example of how the components might go together. The Elaine and Icon concept vehicles are all electric and self-driving as well. Audi's Rupert Stadler describes the Elaine as the embodiment of their vision of autonomous driving with level four. The driver sits in the driver's seat as usual and presses the artificial intelligence button to switch over to autonomous driving. The second concept vehicle, the Icon, takes it one step further. For level five of autonomous driving, the designers have removed a few old standards. Audi's Mark Lichte points out that Level 5 dispenses with a steering wheel and has an all-new layout. The seats in front are first class, and there's space in the rear lounge for two more passengers. As Matis explains, this technology isn't ready for volume production yet, so the newest generation of the classic London taxi still requires human drivers. Anyway, autonomous systems don't help lift the baggage. This London taxi is powered by a 110 kilowatt electric motor made by Siemens. Volkswagen promised to push development of electric drive, and an initial result appearing at the motor show is the Roadmap E. The ID Cross concept is the third of five all electric models Volkswagen plans to roll out starting in 2020. Even so, VW CEO Matthias Müller doesn't see a complete extinction of the internal combustion engine coming anytime soon. He intends to keep on developing internal combustion engine technology as a bridge to electric. That's necessary to achieve our country's ambitious CO2 reduction goals until e-mobility is well established. And considering that car buying decisions are generally driven by emotion, there's the compact SUV T-Roc, which is joined by the new Polo GTI. Daimler would seem to be afflicted with a split personality as well. Smart has announced that the transition to electric drive will be complete by 2020 in both Europe and America. Now Smart's going a step further with the EQ42 concept, the first robot taxi able to communicate with its surroundings without a steering wheel. This concept could revolutionize urban mobility. 
A major crowd pleaser is the AMG Concept 1. The beating heart of this hybrid hypercar is the drivetrain from their 2015 Formula One racer. The 735 kilowatt system performance carries this car from zero to 200 kilometers per hour in under six seconds. Even at three million euros a piece, all 275 units have already been sold. Hyundai also seems to have focused more on fun than sustainability. The i30N has a sporting exterior with red accents and spoilers in front and back. Inside, the driving mode switch can now be found on the steering wheel. Skoda's Karak is another part of its SUV model offensive. The leaner dimensions make the Kodiak's little brother a bit easier to handle and a more suitable SUV for urban mobility. It will be hitting showrooms in November. Yet another compact crossover for city driving is Seat's Arona. Among its unique selling points are the many ways to customize it and its cutting edge safety and connectivity technology. Opel is taking its family of SUVs up range with the Grandland X, joining the Mocha and Crossland as the third member of the X family. This is Opel's first plug-in hybrid. Toyota has plans to offer two hybrid drives with different orientations for its models. One has ecology in mind, while the other emphasizes power and dynamics. An example of this new strategy is the CHR high power concept. The luxury hybrid limousine LS 500H by Lexus is a real eye catcher. Its system performance of 264 kilowatts is due to hit showroom floors at the end of this year. Matas has found that here in Frankfurt, opinions are still divided on the optimum type of drive for cars. Some appear to long for the days before pollution batches and air quality alerts. Others would rather see road transportation go all electric today than tomorrow. But it's wishful thinking to want to turn the clock back or forward. The transition takes time, and history has shown that the internal combustion engine has lots of development potential. It can be made a lot cleaner. Matas expects some innovations there in the future before we're ready for cars to go autonomous and all electric.